Well, I'm playing with my new toy here. I got one of these old batteries that I'm making into a 12 volt from a 40 volt or 36, whatever you want to call that. But anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to probably make some more of those uh, towing batteries. They're pretty easy to make and uh, kind of handy to have. So this one I thought I would... Uh, check to see there's a couple of cells in there that aren't too good so I thought I would try and balance it with my new my new toy here so it's an 8 an 8s eight uh, charger balance charger uh, what is it ISDF I, ISDT there you go so anyway it's uh, it holds it well at 365, that's what I set it at. Yeah, well, it set itself, but I set rechecked it. It's pretty easy setup. You can push this button here. You know, stop it for now. Then uh, there's your main menu there, so you can go into those and check what you need. I set the current at 5 amps. It pretty well does what it wants to anyway because this thing regulates it. I just cranked it up to 25 so you can have an input between I think it's uh, 15 and 30 so anyway we'll just hit start again. Oop. Boy sensitive. Okay, once it hit uh, a balance, what it considers a balance, I bumped it up to 367 because uh, I didn't like, uh, I wanted to see them all at 365, but this, this one doesn't quite do that. So anyway, it turns green from orange once it hits balance, charged, but it still pulls that you know, a little bit of uh, amperage in order to keep it there. Now, I think a person should leave it at that, you know, full part for quite a while. I don't know how long it'll take until they all say 367. It quit, it quit charging and bouncing, but it's still charging. It's kind of confusing. So maybe it'll still bounce until they all hit 367. Amazing. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, after the first beep, it uh, changed colors, and now it's uh, giving me a second beep. After I let it leave it in there for a while, and it, they're pretty well where they're going to be, I guess. It quit charging anyway, and now it's beeping at me, telling me it's done. So, I guess that's the process. Orange to green to boo. Hmm. It definitely quit charging now. Even down here, I'm only poking in. Well, it's still seeping in there. Interesting. It did its job anyway. Thanks. All right. In the uh, menu there, you'll notice that it has charge, discharge, storage, DC power. You can use it as a power supply, this little guy. Or destroy if you're going to throw the batteries away and you want to them zeroed it'll zero them out so okay so I set them to discharge and I'm gonna start it here there your discharge comes up red now I'm sure it doesn't have a huge discharge but uh, I guess we're gonna see we'll let, it, we'll let them pull them down to put a ways down and We'll recharge them again, see how she goes. Interesting. Thanks for watching. There you go. This is what I was afraid of in this pack. One series, series three, is uh, doesn't have as much capacity as the rest. I pretty well knew that because uh, you can see the one battery had a you know a deposit on it, so it's probably leaking a bit. But you know. 
I shut it off two or three times. That's why the amp hours aren't it. I'm at about nine amp hours right now. And if this had stayed up, I'm sure it would have went past 12. But anyway, it is what it is. We're working on it. I don't think I'm going to fix it. I'll probably just tear them apart and use them as singles. Anyway, thanks for watching. Okay, so it wasn't long after I showed you there, it shut off. So I, I put it on charge. It shut off at 2.9. And the rest are at about 3.25. So, so I just flipped it over to charge and it, hitting it with 5 amps there now. It's counting off the milliamp hours that it's putting in there and it's coming back up pretty quickly so we'll see how it goes going up it was about nine coming down nine amp hours so. and the pack new is 17 so 17 point something anyway 80 percent what's 80 percent of uh of 17 what is that? Uh, I have to figure that out. <laughs> 60, about 14 and a half or something. Anyway, you know, I picked a pack that wasn't very good to try this on just for that purpose to see how bad they really get. So this is down at about 60% with a bad set of cells at the number three cells there's at least one with puffy puffy end on it so anyway interesting waste of time actually but that's why i never do capacity tests it takes forever it was two days doing this trying to get it down anyway we'll see how she charges up thanks for watching well in comparison this is a good battery pack that i've had kicking around Make their M1, the M1Bs. <coughs> I've had it on this thing for a couple hours now. It's still not even moving. So I hooked up my uh, old school uh, 4,000 4,000 uh, candlelight spotlight. Draws 10 amps, 12 volts. I could show you, but I haven't got enough hands. It draws 10 amps. It's been on there for a good half an hour now. And it's ain't drawing her down too fast. As soon as they take it off, it bounces right back up again. Anyway, this battery is, is performing like the other one should perform. The other one's got bad cells and this one doesn't. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. 4,000. I think it's 4, is it 4 million? How many? 400,000 candle power. It puts up quite a bright light. 10 amps, anyway. Yeah, I think you could toast marshmallows on it. She's pretty warm. Anyway. <laughs> I just wanted to play with one and see how it actually works. This one has got a lot of power in it. Probably 15 amp hours at least. It sure ain't coming down much with that tight on it. Anyway, thank you for watching.